We all know somebody who likes Charlie Sheen, who is a lot alike Charlie Sheen. And let's go to him now out in the Bronx. It's Jim Graham. <laughs> just oh, kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. That was a bad intro. A, a lot, a lot like Charlie. No, I'm just kidding. I was just that was my chance at a I, stupid I, joke. I, I have I have no cocaine and no goddesses in my house right now. <laughs> just two pussies. <laughs> I, I I have two pussies, but I have no goddesses around. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> what do you make of it? Oh my lord! This this gets more bizarre and 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 frightening by the minute. <laughs> and and I believe we have we have. Definitely topped the chin cam. We we now have the sheen cam. Right? I mean, come on. <laughs> and it's and it attracts cigarettes and 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 lighters. I mean, come on. <laughs> what, what 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 was he doing? Just flashing the I light. Would, I, I I, I, w- I would like to know what exactly what the hell he was really lighting with that lighter. But <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, there were no drugs in his system on I, Thursday, I, 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 but. I, 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 not a Marlboro Light coming out of that lighter. No, no way. No oh, way. Oh, my Lord. So what do you think of him getting fired? You're not surprised, right? Not in the least. Not in the least. I'm, I'm wondering what the hell took him so long, frankly. But then again, you know, I've said all along, they never should have signed him for two years at the beginning of the season. Maybe he would have not completely lost his freaking mind and finished out the year if it was only one year left, but... And I, I have to question, uh, maybe it took so long just because they want to make sure he's in breach of contract so they don't have to pay him. You know, I was, I was on Facebook earlier. I was commenting on Leslie Gold. Doug Miles commented that now they're going to have to pay him for, for the time on his contract. I don't know if there was any kind of morals clause or anything that, that prohibited his behavior. I certainly think an argument could be made that after eight years of, of similar behavior, it might be kind of hard to, to argue that he shouldn't be paid off. Well, you know what the thing was that, that they mentioned in their response? We got a break coming up, uh, so can you hang out through the break too, by the way? Sure. Uh, the sure. one thing that they mentioned in the response was that he, that he committed clear felonious behavior, including possession of and ingestion of illegal narcotics, which makes me think that maybe in his contract there was something – about felonies. He's been busted for this before, though. Yeah, but you know how you know how particular these Hollywood types can be. They they want to do what's best for them. I don't think they expected he'd take it to this level. But let's take this first of two Chauvio breaks, and when we come back, oh, we'll t- we'll talk more to, with with Jimmy about Charlie Sheen, his contract, what lies ahead for two and a half men, if anything, and what lies ahead for Charlie Sheen because he seems to have dug himself a grave that he may not be able to get out of. You're watching KC and sixty with Jim Graham. Don't go away. Be right back. For the hearing impaired, watching shows often means hoping for closed captioning. Yet even today, there are still many shows that aren't closed captioned for the hearing impaired. But thanks to Shovio, there's a brand new way for the hearing impaired to host their own shows on any topic. Because of Shovio's two-way technology, shows entirely in sign language are now more than possible. And viewers who are hearing impaired will be able to fully participate in shows thanks to our innovative shoving method. What follows is a clip from an original Shovio show with a hearing impaired host and caller. Both the host and the caller are able to communicate with each other via sign language. Thanks to Shovio's innovative two-way platform, new doors have been opened for the hearing impaired who want to broadcast. Doors that were once thought to be impossible to open. So what are you waiting for? Schedule your first showcast today under the My Showcast tab on our homepage. Back on KC and 60 with Jimmy Graham. Jim, what, what lies ahead now for this program? We've talked about this before, but now that we have a clearer picture with Charlie, I, what do you think? I, I don't know. I'm not Warner Brothers. I think, it's, I think it really should be done. I think it might be nice if they were able to find a way to keep it going without him, but he is the show. There is no show without him. There's been 
talks about rumors about, oh, maybe we'll bring in John Stamos or maybe we'll bring in someone else. I can't see it continuing for very long without him. And I think probably, look, the reality is the show's been on eight years. They've done 176 episodes with him. They certainly don't need to shoot even one more second of film. The show will run forever in syndication. I, I, I would be curious, and I really, I, I actually, I would love to find out. I strongly suspect the ratings for the repeats are probably now astronomically high, and everyone is higher than Charlie. Well, you know, tonight is tonight's a repeat on CBS, and that's the one that's yeah, going to tell the big wrapped. story. Yeah, the, we well, got to check. The, the we got to check the ratings. One. The last, the last fresh new episode was, I believe, two or, two or three weeks ago. So it's been in reruns for a couple of weeks. They've been on hiatus for a while. Okay. I'm, I'm more curious to know if the local reruns, like the Channel 11 reruns or the, or the reruns on FX, are going up, up, up. You'll have to take a look and see. I, I would imagine they must be because i got to be honest with you. I'm one of them who, who hasn't watched and it for a long time and now watching it. The show is inescapable. It's on like three times a day, no matter what channel you put it on. Someone's running two and a half men. Who, who rebroadcasts it? Eleven and FX? Is that what you were saying? Uh, yeah, FX runs it uh, for, I think, it's like around six or seven o'clock. And uh, WPIX has it at seven o'clock and eleven o'clock, or at least they did at one point. Okay. And something tells me WGN America might have it, too. But uh, that, that doesn't... Possibly, yeah. I don't yeah. have that one on my cable system, but um, they probably do, too. Wow, wow. Now, this guy has dug himself a grave that just keeps making people shake their heads. Do you think he's dug himself too far that he's never going to be able to recover from this, or is this just another example of it's Hollywood, he'll be back on his feet in a year or so? You know, I, I, we've certainly seen plenty of celebrities self-destruct over the years, but this is really, this is just... Bizarre. This is a whole other level of public self-destructing. This is something that's unheard of. I mean, I maybe a year or so ago, I, I opened a Twitter account, which I never really used. I had like three yeah. people on it, and like yeah. you, you were one. I'm of, one of them. <laughs> nobody, nobody. I, I never used my Twitter account, and I was bored the other day, and I was fucking around, and I said, you know what? I've got nothing else to do. Let me build my Twitter account. And, you know, I had Chuck Nice in there and a couple of other people that, I, that I've heard of, but nothing spectacular. Then I added Charlie. And three or four times a day, the, I, I don't know if you, have you, have you looked at his? Well, I turned off mobile bizarre. notifications. Yeah. <laughs> it's bizarre. The, the, the strangeness that comes out of him is just, I, I you know what, I, I can't see how they couldn't have fired her from Two and a Half Men. I don't. I'm wondering if this is a functioning human being anymore. Yeah. And and the worst part of it is it's not drug induced. Apparently, it's a simple human being who's lost it, kinda. Right or is, or. I don't know. Is he bipolar? Is is he just completely insane? Well, you know the thing with the bipolar is. You see somebody go, I worked with somebody who was bipolar, and she would go from being so happy, you're the best person I've ever worked with, to you're trying to get me fired. You know, like, it's, 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 it's so much different from any bipolar episodes I've ever seen. But, the, the, and, and the difference is, all you're seeing is one side of the mania, because you're not seeing him calming down at all. Down. It's, you know, he's on this crazy high. So when's the, when he comes down, I'd almost I'd be scared for him if he, if that's really what it is that the, the the low would be bad. Could it be possibly that it's a result of medication from detoxing, or is he is he on something that we that we're completely unaware of? That was my thought last night, as, and as somebody who had uh, issues in my lifetime with prescription medication and detox medication, that was something that crossed my mind, and that's not something anyone has asked him. In other words, have you taken Suboxone or any of those other drugs that you take when you are, when you are uh, to, to help you avoid withdrawal from, from, from drugs? Because let's face it, if you're a hardcore cocaine user, the way he supposedly was, for him to come and stop using it completely and not be complete and 
utter mess, you know, like like a shaking mess and, and a puking mess all the time. He's got to be taking some kind of detoxification medication because he'd otherwise be unwatchable because he'd be so sick and vomiting and all that other shit, no? And how can nobody pull, how can nobody, nobody around him pull him away from the freaking Twitter and the 9,000 interviews and the rambling phone calls? Well, who was the guy he was talking to on the phone? You think that was his manager or something like that? Possibly, I, I have know. I, well, I, I haven't yeah, I could, seen the Ustream. The one I just showed. I, I well, couldn't. Just the clips, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't tell who he was talking to, but whoever it was kept encouraging him to go to, 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 to Twitter. Go tweet that you dropped your orange juice in the kitchen this morning. Was something he said a little bit later on that I didn't have in that clip. Well, and that he kept, would be that would be something normal to tweet. Right, because what he wanted to do was he wanted to uh, attract people to the page, and then by the time they came to his Twitter, there would be something more radical, and and he wanted to do a slow progression. So this guy who was on the phone with him is trying to 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 keep him focused, but to also keep him active, because he said no smoke screens, but still stay active and keep talking. So somebody's not only not encur encouraging to stop, somebody's out there encouraging him to do it even more and more, which is crazy. It's, it's, it's just, it's, it's bizarre, and I still think it's, it's kind of sad in a way, because the show was funny for a long time, and he was evidently able to keep the genie in the bottle at work for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I question whether, I, I, you know what, I still say, I think in some ways maybe he was pushed to this point by the greed of, of the people that are making that show because it makes so much goddamn money. Mm -hmm. And he if didn't you want to come back, they dangled a ton of money in front of someone with a serious drug problem to make him come back. Maybe he got to the end of the season and started thinking, oh my God, I have to do this for another year mm -hmm. after this. But don't you remember when he said that, uh, uh, when somebody asked him, is this going to hurt you financially? He said, well, yeah, I'm going to have to work now because I need to support my family. I mean, so it, it, maybe he's blown all his money. You know, maybe he needs to work. I, I, that's another question nobody has asked him. Are you broke? He was actually getting about 1.4 sob. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He well, he wanted, but that's when he changed his mind at the end. He said he wanted three million uh, an episode. He but. claims that was he claims that was more of a tongue in cheek. Right, he retracted so. it, exactly. But well, is that possible though, Jimmy? Is it possible that this guy could be just so whacked out and destitute that he's going to be broke soon? He wouldn't be the first one. My God, my God, he are be we the first one? Although I find it hard to believe. Well, this is a tough question to ask, but I think i got to ask it. Are we watching him kill himself on live TV and, and on the Internet every time he does this? God, I hope not. Whew. It's certainly possible, but I, 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 what, what can I say? Frog what Hill with I the say? line of the day. <laughs> he at least he gets 99 yeah, weeks of unemployment. <laughs> oh, my God. But, but but somehow I think even in California I think the maximum is probably like six hundred a week. I don't think that's Charlie's money. No, that's one uh, that's one eight ball. He's he's done after a day. <laughs> that that will last Charlie about twenty minutes. <laughs> oh my uh, god! It's so, it's so I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I I just it's so freaking sad. I can't help myself. I know. I know. And it's just so bizarre. And it's on a level I've never seen. You know, I guess I guess the the closest comparison you could make to this maybe is Michael Jackson. That's true. And even that and even that took 10, 15, 20 years. Michael faded away from him. Michael wasn't in our face every day. He was slowly, quietly self-destructing off in Never Never Land. Mhm. Mm but he actually when he died was on an upswing career-wise, which is strange because don't forget, he was scheduled to do all those he's shows in Japan. That movie, but... Yeah, but like, like that's the thing, Charlie. Well, I wouldn't say Charlie wasn't on an upswing either, because the show is still at the height of its of its popularity. So it's hard to I mean, say he was on a down. Before, yeah. God, yeah. I mean, that's one of the weird shows that never declined in ratings, that just continued to rise in ratings. I think it's one of the f the, the only show in the history of Hollywood that's never taken is, a dip. Certainly, it's the highest. It's the highest rated. Thing on CBS right now, I think. Well, the highest rated comedy, I think one of the dramas is a little bit higher, but. One of the CSIs or something like that, but still. Yeah. Wow. 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 So here we are, two weeks later, 
from the first time you started pulling this nonsense, and it's still indecipherable. Any any other thoughts on this before we uh, wrap things up here with Charlie? Sad, no, sad, no, no. The, the the video just had the, the video just sucked me, and I, I I really wanted to leave it alone, but. No, I'm glad we talked more about it. Bizarre by the day. Yeah, now wait till you see this video. More bizarre by the day. Bill Hader is. Uh, do you like Bill Hader by chance? You know, I saw. I think I saw like two seconds. Of, I, it's hard to find clips on, of SNL, as you know. Yeah. Somehow but, I found uh, a full clip today. I don't know how, but I did on uh, cool. somebody. Somebody. I, I haven't seen the whole thing. I, I look forward to it. I. In fact, Char- Charlie approves it according to his Twitter. Oh yeah, Charlie oh. thought it was great. Yeah, he said he quote unquote <laughs> nailed it, so that's why you gotta love it. The thing is, he um, what do you call it? He, he Hater is pretty good at this stuff. You know, he's he's pretty good at uh, character impersonations. But um, well, let me just get to it. How's that sound? Go go ahead. I'll I'll, I'll let you go. I'll I'll end the call for you. Excellent. Or you e- want me to hang out? Excellent shove, brother. This was as good as it gets. Thank you. All right, bro. Talk to Always you later. Fun. Same here. Talk to you later. That's Jimmy Graham. He out in the boogie down Bronx.